Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Tally. I'm pretty much late with Bugmas, but I'm trying to hang in there and trying to like film as much as possible for today. Um, it's already 7.44 p.m. and today I'm going to be showing you guys the 10, top 10 books of 2019 that I really enjoyed from the Bookmas list. So today is this day two and let's get started. So the first book that I'm that is on my top 10, it is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is my top, f my first one from the top 10 because I just really enjoyed the author's way of writing and I just really enjoyed the plot twist at the end of the book and I really enjoyed the main character which is Evelyn Hugo. I think she's amazing and she's super powerful. This is my favorite book from 2019. My second favorite book is... <laughs> it's not this one. Six of Crows. The first fantasy book that I have read in my whole entire life. I don't think I've read any fantasy before and this book right here made me fall in love with fantasy and I can't wait to read The Shadow and Bone. But Six of Crows was ama an amazing book. Leigh Bardugo, she's a great writer. And um, I love all the six characters on here. I just love the way that the story was developed and I just couldn't put the, d the book down. It will continue being one of my top, top books of 2019. My third book, from my top 10 of 2019 is I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter. I related so much to this book and it just made me feel like I was the main character in the book. How the character had like different experiences with her family and having strict parents. Um, it does happen in Mexican households and I feel like it was an amazing book to read. It's very funny. It was infuriating at first because of the mom the mom and Julia's relationship with each other but at the end they are able to work it out and talk about it talk about the relationship which I really enjoyed from the book all right the next one it is the Mr. Mercedes trilogy and the first one being Mr. Mercedes I think that these books made me fall in love with Stephen King this has to be my favorite book series from Stephen King. They are super amazing. I fell in love with The Detective. I really love Mr. Mercedes. If you guys have the time to read a Stephen King book, I think that this is a perfect book for you to start with and definitely rated them a 5 out of 5 and will definitely read them all over again if I do get the chance to. The seventh book that I really enjoyed for 2019, it is I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. I feel like this is such an amazing book, such a cute book between two boys who fall in love with each other. It's just a boy that comes out to their parents as binary. And in the beginning, it's very um, sad because his parents don't approve and they kick him out of the house, which a lot of people go through. And it's just a story of friendship and love that I really really enjoyed for 2019 and I truly recommend you reading it if you haven't done so already. Okay, the next book it is The Other Woman by Sandy Jones. I think I mentioned this a lot in my other videos but I lost the cover to it. I don't know where I left it but um, the plot twist to this was just amazing and this is the book that was on my bookshelf and I just had no complete interest in reading it and I finished this book in a day. So when you finish a book in a day, that means that the book is freaking good and I just couldn't put it down one second because it was just amazing. It was another 5 out of 5 rating. The ending was my absolutely favorite. Another book by Stephen King, it is Under the Dome. There is a second book, there is a part 2 for the Under the Dome and I just really like this story because it takes place in Maine and people are just like sealed from the rest of the world and start crashing in this dome because it's just like clear and nobody can really see it and they get trapped there for a very long time. I loved how the characters 
developed and how the setting was described by King. I love the way how nobody knows what the barrier is in the beginning, but then in the end, it's kind of like freaking weird, as all Stephen King's books are, and it turns out to be like some kids playing with like dolls or something like that. But it Under the Dome, pretty good book and I truly highly recommend it. Another book that I really enjoyed was What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum and I really enjoyed this book because the topic was autism of this boy who had autism. He starts talking to this girl named Kit and it's really hard for them to say what to say next because they can't really hold a conversation. He gets bullied at school, he has autism and I've I work with kids with autism, so it made me relate to a lot of my clients that I've had before. And last but not least, Dr. Sleep. I finished this last month for November, and it's my absolutely favorite. It's the continuation from the Overlook Hotel, from where Dan Torrance lived his freaking childhood and his most terrorizing event of his childhood. And I already explained this on my wrap-up, but... I really enjoyed Dr. Sleep and it's a very good book. I never got bored. The writing was never boring. So those are all the books that are on my top 10 for the year 2019 and hopefully 2020 brings me a lot of more favorites because I plan on reading so much more. Thank you for watching this video and bye. Take care.